we got the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals are a team that one of the best teams in football. Last season, they went 12 and 4 and won the division for the second season in a row. Lost in the conference finals, conference championship. And they're getting better every year. I mean, Zach Taylor has this Bengal team playing really good football. They're uh, one of the best offenses in the league. They had a top 10 ish, 7 6 offense last season. Defense was pretty good. It was roughly a top 10 defense for a large part of the season. And I think this year they're going to get even better. They might have the best. They might be the best team in the league record wise by the end of the year. It's very, it's very possible. And um, they're going to have a, a big year. I mean, the big things are coming. The schedule is very favorable for the Bengals this season. Um. I mean, two years ago, they was in the Super Bowl. Last year, I mean, they were basically a play or two away from returning back to the Super Bowl. Uh, their offense is good. If, they can, if their offensive line is tight and their defense can be... I, I, I We like to see defense be a little bit better this year, maybe. But I think that when you have a young trio of quarterback wide receivers and they're getting better every year right with the young and experience and the uh they're getting experience every single season i mean these guys have seen early success fairly quick in the nfl and they're just gonna build off of it and they're on a trajectory that i know people think oh kansas City's gonna run off these runs and you, you when they talk about will Patrick Mahomes catch Tom Brady? I don't think so. I, I think that when you look at the AFC, especially the Bengals, they're set in prime to disrupt the Kansas City Chiefs. And there's not the Bengals are not the only team, but right now they're the most complete team that is right on par with the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, look at the last two games that they played against each other. The Bengals have had the Chiefs number in, in many of these games um and the games that were close i mean they could have went either way you talk about within a field goal right now we could be looking at the Bengals as two-time and two bowl champs or at least one time at, at the least so that's why it's so hard to do what new england did for years right new england for like a decade for almost two decades uh having it the the consistency and the dominance that they had but it's very hard to do and i think while Tom Brady had Peyton Manny as this real true competitive competitor in the AFC, um, Patrick Mahomes got Joe Burrow. He's got Justin Herbert's coming. Trevor Lawrence. You got obviously you still got to give slight respect to guys like Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Uh, Mahomes has a lot more depth to deal with, and those guys are right on par, right with. Uh, and Joe Burrow's next up. They can keep this team together. I believe that the Bengals, this may be the year the Bengals could get out of the AFC and beat the Kansas City Chiefs. But we're going to go over the schedule and we're going to see here on this AFC North preview. I kind of already gave it away, but follow along the schedule and we're going to see. Let's get to the schedule. Why waste any more time? The Cincinnati Bengals. Week one, they're going to be on the road. They're going to start the season off in Cleveland. They take on the Cleveland shits, and they're going to beat the Cleveland Browns. They're probably beating by 50 in week one. Let's just face it. Cleveland, I'm not sold on Cleveland. I know a lot of you guys out there like Cleveland. I don't. I don't like them at all. I think they're going to be bad this year. Uh, week two, home opener against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to give the Bengals a win there. Week three, hosting the LA Rams. Another win. Monday Night Football, primetime, ESPN. Joe Burrow and the boys are going to get it done there. Now, week four, they head off to Tennessee to take on the Titans on Fox. They're going to beat Tennessee in Tennessee, I believe. That's what I think is going to happen. Then they go back to back on the road. They take on the Arizona Cardinals on Fox. This is a four o'clock game, which typically favors the West Coast teams, the uh, you know the NFC type teams in this 
afternoon games. But I still I think the Bengals are just better than the Cardinals. I think they're just going to go into Arizona and beat them. So they're 5-0 now. Week 6 heading at home hosting the Seattle Sea Chickens. They're going to beat the Sea Chickens at home before the bye week. They're going to start the season 6-0 and heading to the bye week. Now week 8. They go out to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. Another 4 o'clock game on CBS. These are typical games, you know. You you think that, you know, the West Coast team has the advantage here at 4 o'clock. But I think the Bengals are legit. Bengals offense goes into San Francisco. Joe Burrow outperforms Brock Preedy, Prody, Prudy, Petey, Petey, Weedy, Weedy. (laughs) And um, San Francisco takes the L there. So now... Bengals on them. They're on a move. They're on a winning streak like no other. Had one of the highest teams in football. Week nine, November fifth, home to the Buffalo Bills. Sunday night football, prime time. Burrow versus Allen. Big game for the Bills. Um, but Joe Burrow's gonna win that game. He's gonna beat Buffalo at home, and the Bills won't have enough to stop the Chase to Burrow connection, and that's gonna be a field day. Week 10, November 12th, Sunday, heading hosting the Houston Texans. They're going to beat the dog breaks out of Houston. I mean, the Texans, not going to be a good team. Rookie quarterback, uh, they're just not good. I give the uh, Cincinnati Bengals that one. Week 11 at Baltimore. They beat them early this year. Will they complete the sweep? This is going to be on Prime Video in front of a few hundred thousand people, potentially. Who knows? We're going to go with the win. I think Cincinnati, Joe Burrow goes into Baltimore, beats Lamar Jackson in a stunner. Week 12, home to the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, this game is going to be 1 o'clock on CBS Sunday. Bengals host the Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is going to lose that. So Bengals are now rolling now. 11-0, heading to week 13, December 4th at Jacksonville. Monday Night Football, the game of the year. 11-0 Bengals versus the 9-2 Jags. At this point, Jags will be 9-2 if you follow the Jacksonville Jaguars prediction that I did earlier. 11-0, 9-2, game of the year. Burrow versus Lawrence. This is the big game. Everybody's going to be watching Monday Night Football. Excited. You're going to see Eli and Payton on the simulcast, on the simulcast, whatever they call that. They're going to be talking. Everything's going to be rolling. Who comes out on top? Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Joe Cool Burrow, man. The guy is smooth. It's going to be a shootout. Lawrence is going to have a big game, but he's going to throw maybe a pick six, maybe a fumble, maybe something going to happen on Jacksonville where the Bengals will get the W. So 12 and 0 now. The question is, can they go undefeated? That's going to be going around the minds of the league. Week 12 and 0 headed to December 10th against the the Indianapolis. I can't say this goddamn word. Indianapolis Colts and one o'clock game. I think the Colts are going to lose. We got another win here, 13 and 0. Uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals head into week 15 at home against the Minnesota Vikings Kirk Cousins comes to town won't be enough as the Bengals win that one 14 and 0 folks now the pressure's on the pressure's on they have two of the next three games on the road can they go undefeated 14-0. 14-0. The league is on fire. Joe Burrow, Chase, Riggins, Higgins, Biggins, Miggins, Siggins, Liggins, Iggins. They're rolling. But guess what? They got to go to Pittsburgh. Where it's not, it's not a, cake, a, walk, a cakewalk. We know the Steelers are going to be the Steelers. The Bengals Steelers, you know how that goes. Division game. Uh, not division game. Yeah, division game, excuse me. Can they beat Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh? Mm, Sunday, Saturday night football, NBC. Well, not Saturday night, but 4.30. No, they lose. They lose a close one. Pittsburgh pulls out the victory. TJ Watt 
with the forced fumble in the fourth quarter. And the Pittsburgh Steelers pull out the W and snap the 50 gay winning streak, a 40 gay winning streak, and hand the Cincinnati Bengals their first loss of the year. 14 and 1. 14 game winning streak is snapped. TV is, you know, they got to get over themselves. They got to play again on New Year's Eve. They got to go out to Kansas City now. Take on the Chiefs. Now, they've had the Chiefs number. Games have been close. Regular season, they've been doing well against them in the playoffs. You know, very close games. It's going to come down to another close one. But the Kansas City Chiefs have something to prove. That's right. They have a revenge game. They want to show Cincinnati that, hey, you guys are not the kings of the division, the kings of the AFC. Not just yet. Patrick Mahomes, 500 yards passing, and the Kansas City Chiefs pull out a big victory here and hand the Bengals the second loss on the road, 14-2, and in the final game of the season at home against the Cleveland Browns. The Bengals close out the season with the W to close out 15-2 and to clinch the number one seed. And that's how it's going to happen. So, 15 to 2 for the Bengals. Possibly number one seed. We we'll have to look at what Kansas City does, but I'm pretty confident they will have that. Because I don't think, I think I have more than two losses on Kansas City, but we'll see. Anyway, Cincinnati Bengals 15 and 2. Big victories throughout the year. I mean, that Jacksonville one was going to be huge. Um, uh, the Kansas City lost to Pittsburgh with the win at home against the Bengals. That's going to be a, a one that people are going to be talking about as well. But anyway, Cincinnati is going to have a big season, 15-2. and two. This team is going to be rolling, and you can punch them into the AFC title game. Book it.